Hi, I'm Mark Thomas, Partner Solution Architect with Amazon Web Services. I'm here today with Carlos Bravo, Director of Cloud Alliances from Canonical. That's the company behind the popular Ubuntu Linux operating system. And we're here to talk about one of the security entitlements for Ubuntu Pro. Ubuntu Pro is the premium version of uh, Ubuntu or premium variant of Ubuntu, LTS, uh, that you can use on Amazon EC2. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about um, the, one of the, the uh, security updates that are available with Ubuntu Pro. Now, you may know that uh, Ubuntu LTS comes with five years of uh, security updates for free. You can spool up Ubuntu LTS on EC2 or on-premises or elsewhere, and uh, you get the security updates as soon as they're available from the Ubuntu security team. But uh, with Ubuntu Pro, you get a lot more than that through one of the entitlements called uh, Expanded Security Maintenance uh, for Apps, or ESM Apps. And one of the questions that we hear regularly is, what is included with uh, ESM Apps and Ubuntu Pro that's not included for free? How do those two things work together? So Carlos is going to walk through that and explain the benefits of ESM apps and, and why you may want to take advantage of that. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, so I would like to explain um, about ESM apps. As you mentioned, ESM stands for Expanded Security Maintenance. When you launch an Ubuntu LTS instance on EC2, um, and you would like to install packages, either for um, like applications or dependencies for your own uh, projects, you will get packages from two main repositories, or two important repositories, because one is called main, actually, and the other is called universe. All right? And the big, biggest difference here is that the main repository contains everything that is uh, related to the operating system, and it is supported for five years. So you will get updates here on main and universe, for five years for this Ubuntu release, all right? Um, in terms of security, this is the big difference. Because what happens if a CVE affects one of your packages on one of the two repositories? If a CVE affects a uh, main, you will get the package from the, the Ubuntu, uh, uh, I mean, from Canonical, directly from the, the Canonical engineers. And uh, this, is, this is a part of the LTS, um, uh, release. I mean, the commitment that Canonical does with Ubuntu for five years, okay? But what happens if Universe gets a CVE? That is more complicated because Universe uh, is the repository that contains everything that, is, that it comes from the, the community, the open source community. So it is supported by the community. Uh, what Canonical does on Ubuntu LTS is to make sure that all the packages here are stable and compatible uh, uh, within the same the same release version, all right? So when the CVE affects a package from the universe, uh, the support from Canonical is based on the best effort, all right? Um, so companies that, that uh, are really, uh, that they have high standards for security, they need to either uh, wait for the community fix, which is like, like uh, not the, the best solution, or to find a way to patch the, the, the package, like going upstream, getting the code, and, and, and pushing it into their own um, packages in the end. Um, so for these kind of companies uh, 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 and customers in general that, that they have these security concerns, uh, we have created Ubuntu Pro, as you correctly mentioned. Ubuntu Pro is more like a subscription re in reality because it, it works on top of the regular Ubuntu LTS and it gives you additional features. So we were talking about ESM, Expanded Security Maintenance, and we have two flavors, main, and apps, right? So while main here provides coverage, this is infra, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is infra. So while ESM infra covers main repository, um, ESM apps on the other side covers universe. Um, so practically speaking, ESM infra covers the expanded period of, of uh, support of Ubuntu LTS from five to 10 years, but ESM apps is more interesting because it's, it covers 
everything that is on universe from day zero to the 10 years of support of that Ubuntu LTS release. So um, we're talking about CVs, high and critical affecting packages here on universe that can, could be, for example, Node.js, MongoDB, Spark, Kafka, or whatever applications and dependencies that are, are part of, of this repository. Um, and basically, that's it. That covers what is e e ESM apps. And our studies, just, one, just to finish, one interesting thing is that we, we have done some studies uh, related to this. When, whenever there is a CV affecting one package in universe, um, it takes to the community, in average, 30 days to, to deliver a security fix here, while Canonical just, uh, is, it is one day, basically, to fix it. So the main repository, those are uh, the, the core operating system components. Mm -hmm. Those are, uh, many of the things are already installed and running on your instance when you first boot it up and, and log into it. Uh, how large is the, the main repository? How many packages are we talking about? This is a good, good question because this can give you the vision of the size. Yeah, main repository is around 30, I mean 3,000 packages. So how large is Universe? This is 23,000. So Ubuntu Pro covers support for an additional 23,000 packages provided by the community that, as you said, may have a, a, a no security SLA, uh, an inconsistent experience. And all of these are installed using the same tooling You when you go to install a package. And open source software can be confusing in this regard. You have packages from different sources, and you may have compliance requirements that say we need the same security coverage across all of these, or you just may have applications that you need to make sure they remain secure. So if a customer is um, using, um, an AWS customer is using uh, Ubuntu LTS on EC2, how do they know if there are security updates that are, would be available under Ubuntu Pro from Universe that maybe they don't have access to? Yeah, this is a very interesting question because there are two standpoints of seeing this. One is from the security point of view, so you can see vulnerabilities using Amazon Inspector. Um, so you can scan your machine and you will get the list of, of CVs affecting your current packages. And the other standpoint is, is from the available updates that you could get from ESM. And, and this, is, this is very easy also to solve because you can log in into your machine and run the command pro space security dash status and you will get a list of all the packages that you're getting from main, from universe and the update that you, are, uh, in, uh, you could be entitled to if you have Ubuntu Pro. And then they get, uh, when they, if they move to Ubuntu Pro, they get uh, security updates for critical vulnerabilities directly from the Ubuntu security team. Okay, so that if the customer wants to, to take advantage of this, what do they need to do? If they've got an Ubuntu LTS release and they're like, no, I actually need Ubuntu Pro, uh, how do they do that? Yeah, uh, fortunately, it's very easy on AWS. It's either you launch a new Ubuntu Pro AMI from, from either a Marketplace or Quick Launch, or, um, or if you want to just do an in-place upgrade of what you already have, you can use License Manager to convert it into an Ubuntu Pro instance. And they can, they can uh, take that same instance with all of the, the configuration and exactly. the, the applications that they have and just uh, attach an Ubuntu Pro subscription. Exactly. There is no difference. So their application will work in, in, in the same way. So it's totally compatible. That's, that sounds relatively painless considering all the, the benefit that you get. So uh, if a, now, if a customer moves to Ubuntu Pro and they uh, attach an Ubuntu Pro subscription, there is a slight... Uh, up increase in the charge for that. All this engineering effort to maintain these packages, uh, that, that's not free. The Canonical's made a significant investment and commitment to uh, users to, to be able to provide that. So Ubuntu uh, Pro, the uh, additional charge for that would appear on your AWS bill in addition to your instance charge. You can use the AWS pricing calculator to take a look at that and see, well, what would it cost for me to run my instances uh, with Ubuntu Pro? All right, thank you, Carlos. For Carlos Bravo, I'm Mark Thomas, Solution Architect with Amazon Web Services.